welcome to the 2007 Mobile TV first season um, video, the annual video, and the previous to 2008. So first off, we're going to start off with your champion and their biggest competitors in 2007. Seven. 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 Not seven. seven. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, who came, in, who came, who did get in the top three in the uh, mini stock coins? Mini stocks. Well, let's start off with third place. The Toyota, mm -hmm. Rich Garver, number 67. There you did. He got two wins this season. Good job. Oh. <laughs> but second place, second place, Kevin Bernhardt with some of the loudest fans. Yeah, always. And I dare you to rival him because I bet you you won't win. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, who won the championship? Well, let's just say it right now. With well, six wins, go for it. Only six wins. Only six. I'll tell you what, Tyler Rogers. Part of the Roger crew, you gotta watch out for those guys because they are there. Yep. And in the pure stocks, one of our favorite divisions, mm -hmm. the rookie of the year finished third in points. Mr. Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly from Calabasas, but racing Ron Davis, who had a true NASCAR moment with him, <laughs> um, finished second in points and uh, was no stranger to the top uh, five. But the overall winner with the most crooked pure stock <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, Maybe I'm not around him long enough. Well, hey, he got two wins with that crook. Hey, two wins and a few broken axles. So, Jeff Elder and the number five tribute car comes home the winner. Yeah. In the pure stock. Good job to Jeff. He had some tough times, but he got it. How about them wild boys in the figure eights? Jeffrey, tell them all about it. Wild boys. <laughs> Rusty Stewart coming home in third place. You know, mm -hmm. figure eight racing isn't figure eight racing without yeah. a Rusty Stewart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. And then yeah, second, second place, Mr. Foot, the nice. Barefoot Billy of figure eight racing. And your champion is no stranger to champions in the figure eights. Steve Stewart, yeah. number seven. Uh, he definitely had two wins. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. That's matter of fact. That's a matter of fact, and it's, of course. Matter, matters of fact always come along in the legend car racing. Oh, for sure. And uh, <laughs> your third place finisher in the points, Bob Landreth. And the other Landreth, Tom, no stranger to winning championships in the legend cars, I might add, finished second this year. And I tell you what, he finished second in style. With only uh, a few wins, that'd be six. Six, a few wins, and five in a row. But the kid that was Mr. Consistency, Darren Amidon, came home with one win and a championship in the number 33. Well, hey. Not Jeffrey? Yeah. Who did good in the Pro Trucks? In the mm. West Coast Pro Trucks. Well, let's start off. First race, I don't think anyone survived. No. But then after that, they had four races. Huge season at Orinos I mean, probably one of the longest. Endurance right there. Yeah, four. Wow. And, uh, you know, three guys tied in points, and for whatever reason, they put Takuma Koga up in the third place, so we get to talk about him coming all the way from Japan, as you said, local boy. Yeah, no, I mean, how cool is it to have a Japanese driver <laughs> running third in points? What about the rest of the field? Well, let's go with second place. Hey, hey, hey. Neil Conrad, we've seen him for years racing in a blue car. Always, I mean, the trooper in the West Coast projects. And big supporter of it, but hey, one win. You mm. can't top that. You can't top one win. Even though someone did. But. Yeah, they did. Jeff they Williams. <laughs> but they're not the champion, so who cares? <laughs> and they're not third, even though they tied for it. Yeah. But hey, Jeff Williams. Uh huh. You can call him four time West Coast Pro Trip champion now. And uh, let me tell you a little something about the Super Stocks. Do it. I'll tell you this much they all drive Camaros almost. And uh, although they might be like an IROC series, and these waves are going pretty crazy right now. Wait. By the way, we are on a cruise ship. What? That's why we're wearing these nice clothes. But we'll get to that in a second. We will. And waving his way into third place in points, Eric Sun is from Chathbridge, California, with no wins, but he drove the 14 car. Along, it came in second in the Super Stocks. That would go to number 55, the old wall banger, Brian Harrell. Seven wins. Seven wins. I mean, no one can beat that in that series right now. But someone, someone, row. someone, but someone did end up beating it. No, Darren Cheek. Mr. Vitamin C's. Yep. Because they were both orgies. Mm -hmm. Four wins, 
three in a row from San Bernardino. Congratulations, Cheek Man. That's intense. But now let's move on to the Super Trucks. Yeah. Super Division. Mm -hmm. Logan Henson, local boy to us, out of from Valencia. He got one win this year. He sure did. And uh, made it up into third. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then uh, second place. <sighs> he only got seven wins. And he didn't win. I mean, so, yeah. Wow. But the Quartz Hill Flash did. Quartz Hill Flash. That would be... I don't know, you tell me. With one win, yeah. P Pat Minty Pat Jr. Minty, the guy that is no stranger to racing, that's for sure. And uh, late models, ladies and gentlemen. The best point battle of the year. And you think I'm not kidding you? They beat those <laughs> cup cars or whatever they call them. Well, I believe that is. I tell you this much. All the top five had wins in the season. But the guy who came in third in points, who had one win, Kevin Callahan, from Bakersfield, California. Yeah. Uh, came in third. Second place in the late models. And the number 55 Blue Crew High Point Racing Chevrolet from Las Vegas, Nevada. Jace the Ace Meyer. Jace the Ace. And uh, you came in with one win too. But your champion? What? That would be your rookie of the year. Yeah, rookie of the year too. I mean, this kid's doing good. But unfortunately, he's not racing with us next year. But I tell you one guy who is, and he's bringing quite uh, the same cars back, so you know he's gonna be good. Tim Huddleston, ladies. It's Jack Rash of late models. Tell you what, you got Bill McInerney up north, Tim Huddleston in high point racing down south. Tim Huddleston, three wins a season from Agora Hill. That's his second championship in the late models. And uh, moving on to super lates, guys. They gotta participate in the Toyota Oster Showdown. Uh huh. Well, gotta talk about their place. Yeah. With, yeah, two wins. Two. Andrew Phipps. Andrew Phipps, the number seven. Number seven likes to do good. Mm -hmm. Built to perform, and so is Andrew. Yeah, and one of the surprises of the year, with only one win this season, mm -hmm. but hey, it got him into second place. Rookie of the year in yeah. the Super Lates. Yep. Travis Thurkett, ladies and gentlemen. But he came second to, to the most dominant driver at Irwindale Speedway. That'd be Rip Michaels, and uh, okay, <laughs> yeah. eleven wins this season. That's it. Yeah, that's disappointing. I mean, you thought he would go more. No, literally, folks. <laughs> eleven wins this season, seven in a row. Seven eleven. One of the series we mentioned, and this doesn't even run seven times a year, and he's won seven in a <laughs> row. And uh, that's it. That's 2007 season points go for. Hot dang. Hot dang. And uh, Low Budget TV wants to thank their sponsors. Yeah. BCSportsImages.com for sure. Yeah. Bill Coleman, he's the man. Yeah. How about uh, Ron's or Ren's? How about him? Ron and Wendy, they'll fix up Ren, Ren whether tight, loose, big, or wide. Uh, who, who's with some graphics? Some guy. Some the guy graphics for Low Budget TV. The guy with all the logos Low Budget TV has ever had. I mean, obviously he does good stuff, so if you need the logos and stuff, Go to my buddy Richard Whitson right there. That's the one. How about uh, Worksburg Products? He helped us good out. He did. He sure did. Some of the money our way, but I mean, yeah, glad to have him on board. And <laughs> the surprise sponsor of the season, really cool guys, uh, Nitro to go. Oh, it took us an interview, and we got uh, ice chest and three cases of Nitro to go when slowing down just isn't an option. And with low budget TV, it is not an option. But folks, we got about a minute to round things up for 2008 now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell them about it. Folks, we are going to uh, become race car drivers, hopefully, if all goes well. Holy crap. We have picked up and purchased a 1972 Monte Carlo, and uh, we're running it in the pure stock. So uh, come out and visit us and say hi, and uh, we'll be happy to. Uh, show you videos of our documentary and show you yeah. folks that don't know about racing how much it costs and how much it really is because even though it's a pure stock for us it feels like it costs as much as the formula one car. <laughs> it might as well yeah but uh just uh, to round things up we have to thank a big supporter of low budget TV, probably the biggest uh -huh. Irwindale speedway they're the whole reason that just we're we were able to do anything mm -hmm. this year they helped us out a lot um, and as we said, we're on a cruise. That's why we're wearing these suits. Yeah. And 
You know what? Now I see why Bob Fazio likes him. Yeah, Bob, thank you for your inspiration. Kevin O'Brien, all the staff at Arundel. We're a bit over time, but we love you. Good night. See you later. Have fun, and I'm going to punch the screen. And eat cheese. <laughs>